What is up, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we got another off-road video coming at you. This time, we're going to Croom, which is in Brooksville, Florida. Last time, we went to Ocala National Forest, which is obviously in Ocala. Uh, that one's about two and a half hours away. It was mostly sugar sand. I was a little disappointed in Ocala, so this time, we went to Croom. It's closer, and I actually liked it better. I actually had some more technical stuff, and wasn't just sugar sand. So probably from this point on, we'll probably just go to Kroom uh, just for future reference. But uh, anyway, got a couple updates for you guys just real quick and then we'll get right into the video. First update, as you saw, if you follow me on Instagram, we actually sold the compound kit for the 06. Um, the whole thing's gone. The piping kit, both chargers. So the 366, 480 kit is no more. And so, uh, yeah. So now we gotta make room for some new stuff. Been talking to a couple companies about exactly what I'm gonna go with. Uh, definitely gonna go with an S4, S4 compound kit. Uh, not totally sure on what size chargers just yet, but uh, definitely gonna go with that. So talking to a couple different companies that make the kits and you know, seeing about getting powder coat and thing like, things like that. So uh, should be pretty cool. Also been talking to Bruce over at After Hours Diesel about doing some rods. Um, so maybe, uh, Maybe me and him can do the rods together. That'd be kind of cool. But uh, anyway, definitely need to get some billet rods in it. And then uh, the 94 and the 97, I got some new stuff for them. So we're going to start rolling on those. I know my second gen content's been lacking. I know. I'm sorry. I apologize. Uh, but yeah, so we're going to get going on that. And then I have some stuff coming in for the new truck as well. So definitely plenty of content headed your way this year. And uh, yeah, should be a good time. So I will catch you guys after the video. Hope you guys enjoy. about his cab line is completely tight here.
gotta get a better angle because all these things are really tight. Oh yeah. A little bit more momentum. Put the money in there. This stuff is so soft right now. You can see like a boot just slides. Back up to get a better line. And what sucks is some of these ramps just don't have anywhere to go when you do get up there. There you go. There you go. Oh yeah. All right, y'all. So that's gonna about do it for this upload. Uh, just to maybe explain a little bit. In the last video clip you guys saw, uh, where I looked like I kept backing up down the same track and trying to get over what was happening the track was so deep That when I would try to turn the wheel it would actually push me forward and I would be too far over And then when I would start climbing up my right rear tire would just just about come off the ground and just start freewheeling and It was actually sinking me down even though from the angle you guys were looking it didn't look like it was um, you know, I mean, as most of you know, when you throw a limited slip axle off center, uh, you lose your limited slip ability. And so that's what was happening. My right rear tire, passenger side rear tire was almost completely off the ground and it was uh, causing that problem. So that's why it looked like I backed up two or three times in the same track and it didn't, you know, didn't look like, like I was spinning or anything. Well, I was uh, actually had the rear axle the right side off the ground just to clarify and uh had a couple other clips but somehow they got lost so um i do apologize about that video is supposed to be a little bit longer but things happen and i'll try to uh keep that from happening in the future but anyway hope you guys enjoyed the upload if you did give it a big thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already and i'll catch you on the next one see you